back. We're no longer getting spooky, but now we're getting colorful. Travis with Lone Pine Anchors is joining us now to tell us about a little fall decor that we can get into if you haven't started yet. Travis, thank you for joining and thank you for bringing this beautiful arrangement. Yeah, I'm getting lost. I'm like, which oh, one should sure. I look at <laughs> first? Jackson was commenting on the gourds, though. Yep. Those are my, well, pumpkins might be my favorite, but I like some gourds, and I see you brought some, so what do you got here for us today? I brought all sorts of fun stuff. To me, the greatest part about fall and Halloween is finding all sorts of colors within the fall festival to decorate There's with. A box other bug on you. That comes with <laughs> the, that. Uh, comes with the territory. Hmm. Between the pumpkins, the different gourds, we've got oversized gourds, your small oh, cords, you've got one. so many different colors that come into it, and each one gives their own unique character on how you can decorate from small skinny to large wow it's Maddie, just exciting so when you go out there and you're starting to set up your fall displays gives you an opportunity to look at different colors how you can fill in different negative space with the different gourds the different pumpkins you name it and out at lone pine acres we've got a great selection we try and keep everything cheap attainable but this look fall should be fun for everybody no yeah. matter where you are and how you live come find some good what good recommendations stuff. would you have for maybe a person like me who doesn't know too much about decorating for Halloween or the holidays yeah. what would you say I should start with honestly a whole assortment grab some pumpkins good old orange carvers grab a couple of colorful gourds try and get different varieties get some that are gonna be darker in color some that are gonna be brighter in color things that are gonna contrast for me even find some junk I've got an old drawer <laughs> here it's yeah. a great setup to put out there and set up a nice little display, put a few scarecrows in it. It's a great way to add some character, especially at the end of the year. I mean, think of fall, it's kind of representing the end of the summer mm -hmm. and kind of the end of good things, but yet it's kind of this rebirth into spring and what's to come. And so I like using old different things randomly around the house and put that into the display too, or a good old straw bale, you name it. But just I like it. fill in the negative space, have fun with it. Yeah. That's what matters. We're talking about colors, we're talking about sizes, different arrangements, but not only can this stuff be used for decor, right? Can this stuff be edible as well? <laughs> Pretty much everything you see in fall, when it comes to the pumpkin farms, your gourds, your pumpkins, your squash, all that's edible. I'm not gonna admit that I've ever tried any of it. <laughs> um, I like my squash particularly, maybe my butternuts. We certainly use some pie pumpkins, um, but pretty much everything you see on this table would be edible. So like bite into it right now? You were know. staring at it You're like you were to about try. to. I will not be trying that. Okay. But I thought you were for a nope. second. It does look like a little apple. <laughs> like, I think that looks like an I apple. Think it looks kind like of a little, little pepper almost. Pepper, that's a better explanation, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not gonna bite into it because that would be not a good idea. You know, if you've got those wax apple displays that are out all summer, that's a great replacement. Put it out there and hey. replace those little wax apples. That's a good idea. <laughs> we're talking about gourds, we're talking about pumpkins, <laughs> random drawer shelves that we can <laughs> find. What else does Lone Pine Acres have that people can go out and explore? Yeah, so we try and set up the property so people can just come out at their leisure, walk around. There's a couple of photo areas. We've got an old pickup. we got the straw wagon set up, so it looks like you can go out on a hayride. We've got the pumpkin patch you can go walk and check out. We try and keep it really simple. Come out. Enjoy a beautiful fall day. We're right out by Mount Cato, so we're right in the valley. You get all the fall colors that are coming to their peak right now. All of our prices, pretty much and everything, are $5 and less, so it's wow. really just simple fun for the family. We've had some families come out and do a picnic. Some just sit around and walk around with their dog, and we're okay with that. I come like that idea. It. So it's, it's for more. everybody, family it's friendly. It's meant to be very family friendly, very community orientated. I like it. So now if people wanted to, as you know, we approach Halloween, what do we got? Two weeks left until we're yep. at Halloween. Oh Where can people find you one more time? Yeah, so we're out by Mount Cato, right off of County Road 90, between Copper Mountain Drive and, and uh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 links. Um, Indian, Indian Island Road. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Or Indian Lake Road. Yep. Indian Lake right Road. out between there. It's 25 Copper Mountain Drive. We're pretty much open anytime. Everything's set up on an honesty box. We've got the storefront. Most of the products are under the roof. I know there's some frost next week. We'll be able to bring most of the products into the shed, bring it back out after the frost. It'll cool. be good and kept and well well positioned for the rest of the fall. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you good for joining us. Good to hear. Us. Thank you, Travis. Yeah, we appreciate you. it. And still so, to come on Cato Living, join us with Indulge.